hello. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to quickly render your Maya scene. This was suggested to me by the Mayor 5000. I'd like to thank you all for your suggestions. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. Right now I'm just going to set up a quick scene. Putting a polygon there. Drag this to the side. And just create just a camera. Now you don't have to render with the camera. You could always render in the perspective view, but just for now, I'm using a camera. All right, I'm going to set a keyframe at one and a hundred over. I'm going to drag the ball out. All right, so if you want to see what it looks like from the camera's view, go to um, panels, look through selected. You can play that from there. And to get out of that, just click the perspective view over here. All right, so next, I'm just going to show you how to quickly render your scene. Just go up to the render settings here and make sure they're all set correctly. Um, I'm going to have you render with the QuickTime Movie, so we're going to go down to QuickTime Movie. I'm not sure if it's the same on Windows, but I'm on a Mac right now. So you can change your settings here. You can change the image size, the presets. Say you want it in HD or something. but this is fine, we'll just use the default settings, you can mess around but I'm going to change the frame range since I have a hundred frames I'm going to change it from one to a hundred alright and since I have a camera in my scene I'm just gonna change the renderable camera to camera one which is this one you could always rename it, but you could check up here and now um, this is where your file is going to save under the file name untitled and it's going to save it under users matthew desktop new project so I'm going to close that I'm just going to change my pull down to rendering and just go up to render batch render and you'll see it will go down here rendering with my software alright let that go it may take a little bit alright see it's rendering each frame just gonna let that go um, if you have like a program like combustion or Adobe image ready I think it is you could batch render a bunch of image files and then have it uh, put them in that program and export it from there but this is just an easy way to render for let's say YouTube or you want to show your friends or something just a quick nice way having a quick time file so I recommend this way but if you're doing something more professional I recommend you do it in separate images alright you see the rendering has completed now since I'm in um, I'm in on a Mac I'm just gonna go up to spotlight here and search it um, on title yeah this should be it alright so there you go there's your rendered version of the quick animation we just made. Um, so that's basically all. Or if you're on a Mac, you can check out the recent file that just was there. So untitled quick time right here. It's the same thing. All right. So that's just a quick, easy way to render. Um, if you have more resolution or more lights and stuff, textures, it'll um, be prepared. It'll take a longer time to render. So. I'd appreciate your suggestions and please subscribe. Thank you.